Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to absolutely satisfying Saturday. May this be amazing. May this be superb. Welcome back, Ritu. We have missed you. Thank you for joining us back this morning. Lovely to see you smile and lovely to see you back. So let's all of us remind ourselves it's time for a power of dreams. Let's take one dream today, for example. Let's manifest it. Let's add some value to it. So more power to us. Oh, wonderful. So we started our day with a manifestation, a quick manifestation to remind us that yes, our dreams are possible and we are very much hooked to it. So let's start our morning with our body, keeping our body in mind. What is it that we can holistically do to make it a better place for us to be in a better world where it's healing and we're building it? So this is something that Jainism has followed throughout. Even in India, even in the olden times, why only India? Everywhere, when there was no light, then this is where intermittent fasting was happening because they would eat food only when the, when the sun was there. Then there was no light, everything was closed. That's how it's supposed to be. But unfortunately, in our world, where there's so much of light and exposure, we are eating all the time. So fasting has been one of the most powerful natural tools when it comes to healing or preventing a disease and was a way of life for our ancestors. Now, intermittent fasting respects two important cycles in the human body, the elimination phase and the building phase. Now, the elimination phase is when the body detoxifies, cleanses, repairs, rejuvenates, and rebuilds. Eating in the elimination phase will not help you with your weight, immunity, or any aspect of your health. However, if you eat well in the building phase, the cells are receptive to nutrition and act as sponges for vitamins, energy, and minerals. The elimination phase, on the other hand, is a phase when you're detoxifying. At the same time, when there was no electricity, people used to eat early because after sunset, no, no, there would be hardly any light. So be very sure. So if you're doing your cycle of 16, eight, uh, 16 and 8, and if you those 16 hours when you're not eating, and that is your phase where you're eliminating, you're detoxifying, you're cleansing, you're repairing, you're rejuvenating and rebuilding. Why? Because that time the body is not busy to digestion of food only. Once a food digestion cycle is over, it's got time to work on you, to rejuvenate you, to cleanse you, to repair you and to work on how you should be. And in the eight hours also when you're eating, there's something called initial two hours of building phase. Now you have never, your food fire, burning fire is completely down. And that is when you start eating, it's, it's going to be hinder. So you have to take it gradually, give it some food, give it some uh, smoothies and start very gradually. So let's understand this further. Automatically, our next meal after dinner has to be after sunrise because we've had a resting phase. This way, the body automatically respects the elimination phase. However, now, due to changing lifestyles, fasting often has to be introduced to achieve the same results. So let's turn the page. Yeah. In intermittent fasting, one embraces fasting and, and then feeding. 
similar to traditional practice of uh, Ram, Ramadan. Fasting comes naturally to humans, for example, seven, eight period of uh, our period of cycle. It is hota hai na eight hours to minimum. You're not eating when you're sleeping, but there are some people who eat and they immediately sleep and they wake up and they start with the smoothies and everything. They're just giving seven, eight hours. Now this seven, eight hours is actually supposed to go a bit longer. The body puts in a state that allows detoxification. The dirt in the corner of eyes, the smell in the mouth, and the warm and acidic nature of the first urine are all signs of the body specifically successfully detoxifying itself at night. So, जो गीड़ आती है, जो आपके टीथ पे प्लाक आता है, या आपके जो you know you just um, your body is just urine first of all you're passing out it's got acid because it's clearing your body every morning. You've got to wake up to the pressure of going to the loo, right? Because the body wants to clear off those toxins, and that's going through urine. Now, the principle of intermittent fasting is very simple. Our, dig- our, dig- our digestive system uses almost eighty percent of the body's energy, leaving only remaining twenty percent for other bodily functions. Now, we might have noticed that our appetite reduces when we're ill. And that's the body's natural mechanism. It protects you. It wants to heal you. It says, "Don't eat." Okay, it's time for healing because this is the time. Other energy has to be taken into our healing, and then we don't want to eat, and that's how beautiful it is. That's why immunity is built. Now many people fast by drinking juices, eating just fruits, not sabudana puris on that day. However, that is not a fast. Fasting means not eating any food for that matter, for that period. All you can do is consume water, even in no tea, no coffee, no diuretics, no lemon water, nothing. Because the whole idea is to give the digestive system a complete rest. So, if you are waking up in the morning, kar, kar to, to be having nimbu pani with honey, even you've broken the fast that time. So, even nimbu pani, honey, when do you want to have? You, you just you should see, not immediately on waking up. So, the intention of and if you are waking up to nivaya pani while the session is on, that's perfectly fine. Water, any temperature is allowed. In fact, if you see nivaya pani is a good idea. If you, especially during temperature, which we talked about, it's a thermal shock for the body. So it will you are activating your thing. That's fine. Intermittent fasting is shown to reverse hair loss, skin uh, issues become um, you know redundant, cravings are finished, breaking the weight loss plateau. If you are plateaued at a particular weight, the minute you start intermittent fasting, so say you are doing sixteen and eight hours, and yet your weight weight is plateaued. Make it eighteen and six hours, and the weight will start moving again. It's going to help in reverse aging, which is very, very important in understanding. Now, your low immunity will become much better. It will become good immunity. The detoxification is going to happen, and our building spiritual health is very important. So, just understand, spiritual health. Aapka mera mind be zada conducive banega. Agar body mein toxins nahi honge. Agar raat pe heavy meal khaye, so be paan baje utni energy nahi milegi jab aap session mein aayenge. So, because you, you're slugged out, unless not you've woken up a little before and cleared your stomach, then you'll be having energy in the session. Otherwise, you're like, hmm, okay, how is she doing it? Simple, I'm detoxifying before I come to the session. This doesn't mean you need to starve, but eat exactly what you want and when your body needs it. On dinner, if you're having puris and parantas and pizzas and pasta, something very, very heavy, and that too late, you're going to be having it. You're not only that night, even next morning is going to be sluggish. Now fasting correctly, करने के लिए it's truly you're going to experience two uh, therapeutic uh, therapeutic uh, benefits. A fast of twelve to sixteen hours for three days in a row, once or twice a month is recommended. Start करिए if you haven't started yet. Just start with one or two days, you know, and then go on to one or two days a week. Then go on to two days a week, and then increase your build your muscle. ये नहीं कि कल से मैं intermittent fasting कर रहा हूँ. Start and if you can do it, great. A clean body may have to fast for less time, while a toxic body ha- take will take longer period of time. And who's clean body here? Ninety-nine percent of people are not. Why? We all eat all the food. A big chunk of it is processed. Processed is anything that comes out of packets. It's not a clean from farmer to a table. Nahi aata. Mother Earth should give us directly food. We should have food as well as sattvic as. And even the, if you remember, I had shared videos of Subha Jain. So tamasic khana, anything after three hours becomes tamasic and radsic. So um, please just have sattvic khana within three hours. Less of cooking, and then if you want to really go higher in your spiritual world, meditation world, and once you go in this world, 
Abundance is your jaram se dadhikar. You are going to be rocketing high in any of your goals. Your dreams are going to come through because your body is so detoxed, detoxified. So you may start with a 12-hour fast, gradually build up to 16 hours. So the, for people who haven't started, dinner, if you do it at 8 o'clock, then try and pre-pone to 7 o'clock. Breakfast, if you do it at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, then make it one hour later. Just start building your gaps. Make them a little wider, wider, wider. When your body is comfortable, then stick to that regime. And you know, if you're fasting for six days a week or five days a week and less two days, it's still okay. Something is better than nothing. So just be careful. You don't have to like Sundays. I don't intermittent fast because Sundays is family breakfast time. So it's fine. And that's absolutely okay. Now it's common to experience bouts of hunger pangs on the first day, but the third day you will experience the benefits and feel much better. Now before attempting intermittent fasting, in case you have some medical issue, it's always going to be nice to talk to your doctor because we don't want you to go wrong anywhere, right? So please be careful only if you have a medical issue. If you're a normal person with no medication, just start it, go with the bang. Thank you Rahul for showcasing this book. Time to move on uh, into tapping into wealth. So I hope yesterday you did write that number. We, we did do an meditation, an outrageous number. I hope you have done the exercise in yesterday and day before of thinking how much money you need and multiplying it five times and thinking, oh my God, it's bizarre. Now I hope that feeling came and I hope you've done meditation. I hope you've tapped away the negativity and journaled what was coming into your mind. Until we journal, we will not know what's coming. So why is journaling important? Only because you know what you've thought and written down. You think But you forget That's how memory is. So please write it down. Today, we're going to be talking about our income goal exercises. Ki income goal we set income goal. What we These exercises will help us think about the goal we want and identify our resistance to it. Our goals are set, but we resist them, right? So now, how do create them? Let's create a true solvency income goal. Let's take every expense into account. Practical, for pleasure, savings, whatever, whatever, whatever. Remember to make a stretch goal. Stretch it as much as possible. It should be somewhat believable, but at the same time, really push your buttons because it will be challenging to actually achieve it. Now, what do we have to do in exercises today in you know, setting our goals? We write down a line. I want my income to be INR this in dash many years. So what do you want your income? Write that down. Now, think big, go big, dream big, achieve big, and write it big. And then read it out loud. Now, again, I'm saying all this is to be done. If you, if you, you know, pe people around you will think, what are you doing? Do it on your, like a solo journey. We just, you are there. Otherwise, whatever. Read it out loud and pay attention to how uncomfortable just stating this goal makes you feel. This is your immediate resistance. Rate how uncomfortable you feel about it on a scale of one to 10 next to your income goal. Write my resistance to this is, Number 10, because I feel this, write the reason down. Because until you write the reason, why am I uncomfortable? Meri kya conditioning hai, mujhe kisi ne kya bola hai, ya aisa mein sochta hoon, ya whatever, whatever. You know your truth. You don't have to share this with anyone. It's just about you. And think about your goal, about how it makes you feel. Give yourself time to absorb it. Please. There's no rush. You have to do two exercises. No. If you don't have a full time, you have to do three exercises. Break them down. Do one. Then make second, maybe do it later. I like to do it in a flow. I like to give myself half an hour. But if you don't have half an hour today for this, please take it easy. Now, exercise number two. Write down three. Remember, three is the number of creation. We've talked about this many, many, many times. So that's why we said day before that it was the date was double one, double one, two, one. So there were three ones and there was one to one, right? So three is a number of creation. These three numbers, again, we pick up in writing these reasons. Why do we think this goal is so crazy, so unrealistic, so outrageous that why can't we make it happen? Now, B, now this is something you've never heard, right? In this May session, you'll never hear be as negative as you can 
about the reasons you have trouble believing your goal is possible. For example, in my field, there's a lot of competition with fewer customers. 90% log ye wali baat bolte. 90% log. Ye are bahut competition. Hai. Market achhi nahi hai. They, you know, aise, are recession chal raha. Are ye ho raha. Are mandi aa rakhi hai. That's the language people use. If people use such language, please stay away from the such people. You don't want to hear that. You don't get, want to get into your aura. Just say, nahi, aisa to nahi hai, bhai sahab. You know, even if you believe in it, say, aisa to nahi hai. You should just cancel out all these negative thoughts. Absolutely. I already work very long hours, so I don't know what else to do. They say, I don't want to do so much work, I don't want to do so much work, I don't want to do so much work. So again, I say, work smart, not hard. There's no need to work hard. This hard word is a hard word. Nothing is hard. It's a terrible economy, so it's stupid to expect them to make money. Now, in this terrible economy, people say, pandemic business is down. Hai. And did you look at Nike? No sal prani company just pandemic may bloom kar gai. Today, this is the most uh, richest woman in the country. How? Things are because what you attract, she has lakhs of orders a day, a million and a half lakhs uh, orders a day. Now, the economy is terrible if you say it's terrible. If you say it's being conducive for me, it's being conducive for me. All of you saw in the pandemic, na, sabki business is down. Te. Look at the way I was flourishing. Why? I kept saying, right? Yo, the work's going great. Works are, even when the factory is closed, I said, no, but it's going great. We are planning for the next step. And just see, one month of closure and we were back on track. The Indian government said, no, liquor countries can't go closed because they are the main backbone of the economy. So it's stupid to say such stuff because you could attract those vibes in your businesses or your jobs or your professions. Now, there are people who will say, if I raise my prices to make more money, I, doze, uh, I lose my customers I have. Ki bhai, ya, unko to paisa, uh, paisa have you ever tried to up your game? Ki bhai, ya, I definitely charge more than my competitors. But my product clicker they go and see the others. Are you genuinely giving them a master product? See what you're giving. The more you give, the more you get. So create that. My company has frozen salaries and I'm stuck with mine. बहुत लोग बोलते रहे कंपनी तो बढ़ाती नहीं है उसका तो एक कांसेप्ट है फिर भी कई लोगों को बीच में मिलते हैं बोनसेस कई लोगों को बीच में मिलते हैं पर्क्स क्यों बिकॉज़ दे हैव अट्रैक्टेड इट सारे रीजंस जो भी आपके दिमाग में आ रहे हैं कि आप क्यों बिजनेस बेटर नहीं कर सकते प्लीज राइट दैट डाउन प्रॉब्लम क्या होती है हम एक्सेप्ट नहीं करते हम बोलते हैं और हम भूल जाते हैं एंड यू कैन डू दिस नॉट टुडे वो पेपर आप रख लीजिए कल ऐड कर लो हां ये रीजन भी है अरे ये रीजन भी है अरे ये रीजन भी है and if you are on the move hai mobile pick up na naya i told you a couple of times a group bana lo add any person for example xyz on your list add that person delete the person wo group sirf aapka aapke sath rahega usme likh lo ki okay this is my reason reason i'm 1 2 3 4 friend 5 10 jo bhi aate hain and sham ko fair out kar lo kitab mein din dopahar mein sham ko morning mein itni moti journal you will not carry it to your offices right so please become a little practical do that now if you don't have many reasons dig a bit be honest with yourself problem mein hum sab ne ek mukhota pehna hua apne samne bhi you know kare main to bada aisa hu are i am a positive thinker are this is the, are because we can't accept our truth hum khud hi apna truth accept nahi kar pate hum khud hi apni shortcomings nahi accept kar pate aise hum apne aap ko bolne mein dhurandar hai we are very mahir we are very amazing to tell ourselves e ye bhi nahi kar paye oh shit you can't even do this you know apne aap ko criticize karne mein experts hain ki oh you have grown up, you have grown this your hair has become white for example or you have grown fat or you have this or your complexion has gone dark or blah 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 do you see how most of us indians talk about people when you meet them after a while it's 99% the conversation is about the look looking very smart hey, you have lost weight or oh, you put on weight oh you know it's all about the exterior look of a person we don't even say it's so good to see you yeah your aura is great koi aisa bolta hai kya andar se koi kya insaan hai wo bolta hai it's all about looks and similarly even how do i look to myself wo bhi humne camouflage kiya hua we are wearing those tinted glasses those you know those glasses so please recognize yourself please recognize what your subconscious whispers when you pay attention i have been repeating to us my yourself thoda sa silence mein jao kabhi kabhi अपना मेडिटेशन करो फॉर टेन मिनट्स लाइक यू नो 
I'll be very honest. I've joined this uh, the 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 coach I joined in August for the uh, my. Remember, I went eight days incognito without food. So that JJ sir, when I joined him, he makes us do something called kayut sir. <clears throat> it's complete no movement, nothing, nothing. But half the time, my mind that time is silent because it's enjoying the silence. For a change, I'm just silent completely, and no thoughts are coming in, and it's so beautiful. And then you are silent. That's when you listen. And if you look at both the words. They are the same words spelled differently. जब आप silent रहेंगे आपको बहुत कुछ सुनने को मिलेगा अपने subconscious में subconscious जो हर समय चुप करवा देता है conscious mind हर समय blabber 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 करता रहता है. So learn to be a bit silent. Learn to listen. When you listen to yourself, that's when the magic happens. Now ये list सिर्फ आपके लिए है so it's okay. There's no need to get embarrassed. There's no need to think अरे ये मैं सोचा कोई पढ़ लेगा तो आप किसको बता ही नहीं रहे हो ना आपका आईना आपके सामने नाउ व्हेन यू आइडेंटिफाइड एज मेनी रीजन एज यू कैन ओवर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू डेज देन यू मूव ऑन टू इनकम वोल एक्सरसाइज नंबर थ्री हम एक बार को आज कर लेते हैं जस्ट बिकॉज वी वांट टू मूव ऑन एंड शो यू व्हाट्स गोन कम योर वे अब आपके टेन लिस्ट आर टेन लिस्ट किए हैं आपने ऑब्सिकल्स कि ये मेरे रोड ब्लॉक्स हैं उनमें सबसे बड़े दो ऑब्सिकल्स रोड ब्लॉक्स क्या हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाइनटी परसेंट लोग का एक रोड ब्लॉक आएगा माई कंडीशनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ माई फैमिली नाइनटी परसेंट उनकी वजह से ये है किसी ने किसी टीचर ने बोल दिया किसी ने पेरेंट ने बोल दिया कभी किसी ने और ने बोल दिया और वो आपके दिमाग में जाके चिपक गया आपको फिर लगता है कहीं ना कहीं अरे इंडिया में है तो ऐसा है अगर कई लोग को लगता है नॉट एवरी वन कई लोग को लगता है कि अरे यहाँ तो ग्रोथ बहुत नहीं हो सकती या मेरे बिजनेस में तो बहुत डिफरेंट है बिजनेस बोलना अरे हमारा तो ऐसा है एवरी वन थिंग्स माई स्टोरी इज हटके अरे माई प्रॉब्लम आ हटके पीपल थिंक मैं तो एक यूनिक पीस पैदा हुआ हूँ इस मामले में यूनिकनेस दिख जाती है पैसे स्टैब्लिश करने में नहीं दिखती सो वन शुड बी अ कॉन्क्रीट रियल वर्ल्ड ऑब्सिकुलर पर्सन the other should be something inside of you like a behavior or an attribute choose what triggers an immediate reaction of anger annoyance or frustration ab dhyan rakho gussa kyu aa raha hai kis baat pe pareshan ho rahe ho kis baat pe frustrated ho rahe ho that reason will be very much similar to the reason why you're not able to uh, create your income aur jo hamare obstacles bahar se hain think of something or someone or more than one that can't stand and that trips you up and undermines undermines your efforts har samay aapko kuch ulta bol dete hain aapne jo kiya hai uske pai dal dete hain kaisa lagta hai aapko unke bare mein ek insaan do insaan kal shayad humne iske bare mein sabne socha tha jinko marks ne question kiya tha ki aise insaan hain jo hamare buttons push karte hain so what seems to get in your way or sets you off just thinking about it soch ke dekho kya cheez hai jo aapko pareshan karti hai example ke taur pe I can't do anything until the right circumstances happen. कई लोग को लगता है कि अरे ये होगा तो मैं कर पाऊंगा कुछ तो करो शुरू तो करो बट हो नहीं समझ में आता नहीं ये ऐसा होगा तो ऐसा होगा फिर दिस पर्सन इज ऑलवेज क्रिटिकल एंड वीकेंस माई अटेम्प्ट टू सक्सीड कि ये है ना मेरे ऑफिस में फैक्ट्री में लाइफ में इसकी वजह से मैं तो डाउन हो जाता हूँ सो सम ऑफ यू हैव बिन विद मीस जनवरी राइट आई डिट टॉक टू यू दैट हाउ आई फेल्ट माई फादर वॉज इन माई बिजनेस यू नो that he was always criticizing me you know he because he wanted to make his daughter the strongest and initially i was like you know why is he being so harsh with me i done my businesses since i'm 18 so it's not like i'm new for businesses i've been working for almost 25 years he can't, he can't be saying this to me but then when i realized that it's all right he's telling me for my bit and i don't have to cry and become weak and i have to just take him yeah papa and unki ha me ha mila and think about it ki unhone kya bola can i work on this हंड्रेड परसेंट तो सही नहीं होंगे इमीडिएटली देर वॉज अ शिफ्ट इन हिम उन क्रिटिसिजम उनकी बंद हो गई कॉम्प्लीमेंट शुरू हो गए बिहाइंड माई बैक विद माई सिबलिंग विद माई पेरेंट्स विद माई ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स विद माई लॉज मैं रियलाइज ओ माई गॉड माई डैड कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग मी द मैन क्रिटिसाइज मी ओनली इट वर्क फ्रॉम पर्सनली नेवर एनी थिंग सो रिमेंबर दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इफ यू आर क्रिटिकल अबाउट समबडी एंड यू क्रिटिसाइजिंग दैट वो बढ़ता ही चला जाएगा But if you start looking at something good about them, there will be a shift. But nonetheless, आपको accept करना on paper जरूरी है कि ये person मेरे buttons दबाता है. Now paperwork wastes all my time. अब आप लोगों से कई लोग बोलेंगे journal क्यों करना है भाई दिमाग mixize कर ली over हो गया. नहीं. 
पेपर वर्क इज इम्पेरेटिव जब तक एक गोल को एक एक्शन को एक प्लान को नहीं तब्दीली कर लेते हो टाइमलाइन नहीं देते हो तब तक इट्स ऑन पेपर नहीं देते तब तक वो नहीं होगा यू हैव टू राइट इन इंक हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दिस इंक पुट इट डाउन इन इंक यू इंक इट उसको आपने इंफॉर्मेशन दे दिया है नहीं तो इट्स ऑल जॉमल वर्ड्स राइट डाउन यू ऑब्स्टिकल कि मेरा ऑब्स्टिकल है ये इंसान जो भी ये पर्सन ये सिचुएशन सर्कमस्टांस ये कंपनी या वट एवर कि मैं इस कंपनी में काम कर रहा हूँ तो मेरा यही रहेगा इसमें जाऊंगा तो बेटर हो जाएगा तो इसमें जाने के लिए इसको थैंक यू बोलना पड़ेगा राइट एंड ये हमने सीखा था वेरी क्लियरली इन द मैजिक बुक सो गेट योर रीडिंग बैक फॉर दैट ना ऑप्सिकल्स इन साइड यू थिंक ऑफ वन और मोर थिंग्स अबाउट योर सेल्फ द ड्राइव यू क्रेजी और फ्रस्टेट यू इट कुड बी अ स्टेप यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू or you believe you don't do well maybe it embarrasses you kaisa example i have never been good at this apne aap ko pehle se hi bol diya ki main to isme acha hi nahi hu for example hum creative thinking kare are i am not a creator baba all of us are born creators hum har moment create kar rahe hum choose kare na ki hame ye karna hai ki wo karna hai so creator kaise nahi ho sakte yeah i can to screw up when i try to do this because so it's just too embarrassing i will not bother trying because i'll never succeed पहले से ही पता है कि मैं तो फेल होऊंगा ही अब वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स शी वाज इन दिस बैच आल्सो शी सेस यू नो व्हेन आई एंटर द किचन मैं तो कुछ जलाती जलाती हूँ अपने आप को भी खाने पीने को भी एंड वो हमेशा किचन से निकलने की जली हुई भी और कुछ जलाकर भी दिमाग में कंडीशनिंग हुई है ना कि मैं तो आई कान कुक ओनली वाई कान पीपल चेंज दैटर्न ऑफ थिंकिंग इट्स सो सिंपल एंड क्या करना है राजन थिंकिंग की मैं क्या करती You know, क्या नहीं कर सकती थिंक अबाउट मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ वट कैन आई डू टू मेक ए डिफरेंस एंड वट डू आई वॉन्ट टू डू थिंक अबाउट दैट ना सम पीपल से माई नर्व गेट द बेटर ऑफ मी वन आई मेक अ बिग एफर्ट एंड दैट मेक्स अ बैड इम्प्रेशन कि मैं बहुत एंशियस हो जाता हूँ बहुत परेशान हो जाता हूँ अरे झल्ला जाता हूँ एंड यू नो आई आई जस्ट यू नो आई एम नॉट माई सेल्फ एंड आई जस्ट बिकम समी हु अदर एंड आई डोट वॉन्ट टू गो दैर इट्स वेरी इंपेरसिंग टू डू दैट सो I mean, why such so many judgment? Are you seeing how analytical we human beings are? Apne liye bhi, how judgmental? These are all mental bimaris. You have to change your mentality. Ki arey, mujhe ye nahi karna hai. Main karta aa raha hu. It's not given me a purpose. Now it's time to move further. And please write everything down. जब नेक्स्ट राउंड टैपिंग करेंगे हम तो यू विल रियलाइज कि जो भी ऑप्शिकल्स आपके रास्ते में आएंगे, आप इमीडिएट आएंगे तो आप समझ जाएंगे अरे ये ऑप्शिकल आ गया. and then मुझे इस पे फोकस नहीं करना है इसके पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट पे फोकस करना है एंड देन दैट इज वेन द पैराडाइम शिफ्ट विल है ऑप्शिकल्स लाइफ में है हमारी हमारे इनकम गोल्स में है और इन्हीं को हमको टैप अवे करना है जब तक आप और मैं कॉन्शियस एफर्ट नहीं करेंगे टैप अवे करने का वी के नॉट सक्सीड इन लाइफ सो पहला अंदर का अनालिटिक थिंकिंग विदाउट थिंकिंग नथिंग 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 विल हैपन सो ये सर रेस्ट ऑन द पेज ओके सो नाउ जस्ट टेल मी जो हम हमने स्क्रिप्ट करी है क्या हम टैप कर लें उसके साथ साथ इज इट ओके एज एन एग्जाम्पल कि अगर आप लोग सक्सेस कर लें स्टेप सो वी कैन टैप इट अवे आर वी ओके डू इट गुड डे या शम गुड रुच यू ग्रेट ओके सो एज ऑलवेज एवरी डे वी डू टैपिंग एक्सरसाइज एंड आज भी हम करेंगे टैपिंग पॉइंट आपको पता ही है जिन लोग को नहीं पता यू कैन लुक एट मी इन द स्क्रीन एंड ऋतु यू नेवर एन इट क्यो सो आई एम गोन इंट्रोड्यूस यू अदर्स कैन क्लोज आईज एंड टैप अवे वेल आई एम गिविंग द स्क्रिप्ट द वंस हु डोंट नो कैन डू इट सो ऋतु वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी यूजिंग आर फर्स्ट वन फिंगर टू थ्री हाउ मेनी एवर यू वॉन्ट एंड वी टैपिंग एट फ्यू एनर्जी पॉइंट्स जैसे ये सेंटर हमारा क्राउन चक्र का सेंटर इज अ टैपिंग पॉइंट हेयर then we have inner eyebrows so eyes ke teen points hai one two yahan sockets hai aur yahan sockets hai okay chin mein yahan hai yahan hai aapke collarbone ke niche yahan hollows hai yahan hai and ek monkey tap yahan milega aapko under your eye, armpits theek hai so you can follow this and we will tapping as i keep tapping you keep tapping and jo thoughts aa rahi hai keep reflecting on them so let's start with it these obstacles so many problems I am full of problems. They feel insurmountable. मैं इनको नहीं पार कर सकता. It's just impossible. They're blocking me. They are so tough. It's so frustrating. अरे नहीं होता. कितना भी मैं try कर लूँ, I'm always stuck. वहीं पर वापस आ जाता हूँ. 
मेरी प्रोग्रेस नहीं हो पाती बिकॉज मुझे पता है हो ही नहीं सकता मैं कितना ट्राई करता हूँ हमेशा पैसे वेस्ट हो जाते हैं मेरा एफर्ट वेस्ट हो जाता है मैं बैक टू वही हो जाता हूँ वॉट इज अ पॉइंट आई डोंट डू इट आई कान डू दिस बिकॉज इज नॉट पॉसिबल इज टू फर्दर अड आई कान जस्ट डू इट दे आर टू ह्यूज मुझसे नहीं होता भाई मैंने बहुत ट्राई किया आई जस्ट कान डू इट आई फील हेल्पलेस या लोग कहाँ से कहाँ पहुंच जाते हैं मैं तो कर ही नहीं पाता मैं तो स्टक हो जाता हूँ यू नो इट्स अ नो विन सिचुएशन मुझे पता ही नहीं हाउ टू सॉल्व इट आई जस्ट डोंट नो मैं बहुत फ्रस्ट्रेटेड होता हूँ बहुत ज्यादा है मेरे लिए आई कान हैंडल इट नॉट कीप हैंड्स इन योर लैप्स टेक अ नाइस डीप ब्रेथ अगर आपके सामने आपकी प्रॉब्लम्स आ गए हैं और आप कुछ भी स्क्रिप्ट बोलेंगे आपको ये बुक देखने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग टैपिंग में हम जो भी नेगेटिविटी आती है जब हम जर्नल कर रहे होते हैं उन थॉट्स को मन में लाना होता है कि ये थॉट्स है अरे ये इंसान मुझे हमेशा ऐसे बोलता है अरे ये होता है जो भी नेगेटिविटी उसको एक्सेप्ट करना है बोल के जब हम बोलते हैं तो उसको हम बाहर निकाल रहे हैं हम टैप कर रहे हैं तो उसको पानी के ग्लास से बाहर उछाल के निकाल रहे हैं अपनी लाइफ से उसके बाद जब हम आइडेंटिफाई कर जाते हैं हम इस प्रोसेस को दोबारा करते हैं क्योंकि हम इसके साथ एफर्मेशन डालते हैं अच्छा शुरू में दस प्रॉब्लम होंगी आप दस बोल दीजिए नेक्स्ट डे आप नौ बोल दीजिए आपको एक एक प्रॉब्लम लगेगा कि अरे अब ये कम हो रही है ये कम हो रही है कम कम हो रही है फाइनली एक दो पॉइंट पे आएगा टैपिंग रोज करना है एवरी सिंगल डे करना है मल्टीपल टाइम्स कर सकते हैं बिकॉज हम सारी कंडीशनिंग हमारी सबकॉन्शियस माइंड में सालों सालों पुरानी है तो उसको निकालने के लिए उसको एक्चुअली टिप पे लाना ही पड़ेगा यू हैव टू डू इट राइट एंड यू सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ जब हमें प्रॉब्लम समझ में आ गई अगर हमें आ गई है तो तो हम आगे टैप क्या करने वाले Let's understand. All right then. Okay, dear body, dear mind, I've understood. These problems are my. I have finally accepted that. Now, I didn't know that these problems are so much more in my inside. But I think that it's not only me. In the world, there are many people with these problems. So why do I keep saying them to myself? I have them, and at this moment, I need to release them. And yes, I can push them. And I don't have to hold them too tight. And yes, I can push them. And I don't have to hold them too tight. मैं बहुत टाइट करूंगा बहुत एक्सपैंड करूंगा तो आई एम लूज माय माय जर्नी एंड आई एम चूजिंग टू सॉल्व दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्स राइट नाउ फॉर माय हाईएस्ट गुड टू अनफोल्ड नाउ फॉर द हाईएस्ट गुड ऑफ एवरीवन इवॉल्व्ड व्हाई सब मेरा मंगल सबका मंगल होना चाहिए राइट नाउ आई लुक फॉर अनएक्सपेक्टेड एवेन्यू सडनली ओपन ओपनिंग अप I am open and receptive to all the new beginnings to all the new changes to all the opportunities Now I look for doors suddenly opening to have even better results. Now, as a matter of fact, I'm shocked and I'm watching in amazement. All these conflicts are easily fading away. All the people in the right life are coming my way, who are helping me in my journey. They just seem to unfold so beautifully, and it just is so amazing that I am not giving this importance. I'm giving my goals importance now. I am going to let these old things stop me. I am on the way to success. Yes, I'm getting more powerful, more better, more happier, because I know I can do anything and everything in the world. And now I'm in a much, much, much happier space of mind, and so it is. So when we involve ourselves into thinking rationally, addressing those thoughts, telling them, "Okay, fine, you're there. I accept you, but now I no longer need you. What I need is something." is power and i feel myself with a full dosage of power tapping ke baad ekdam se aapko lagega ki body mein bahut energy aa jati hai has anyone felt it how do you feel when you when you tapping initially jab aap ek thought ke sath tap kar rahe ho heavy thoughts aati hain and fir aap unko accept kar rahe ho tap karte ja rahe ho fir aap positive thoughts dal rahe ho it's is taking about 5 odd minutes charged we feel lighter ऋतु नेगेटिव आपका जो रिप्लाई आया है आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ये क्या आपने बोला है कैन यू इलेबरेट सो नेगेटिव थॉट्स आती हैं इज दैट व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से फर्स्ट टाइम ओके या सो या गुड नेगेटिव थॉट्स आना इंपॉर्टेंट है जब तक नेगेटिव थॉट्स नहीं आएंगे हम उनको एड्रेस नहीं कर रहे हैं तब तक वो बाहर नहीं निकलेंगे एग्जैक्टली वाइब्रेशन आती हैं एक्सेप्टेंस शॉर्ट का आता है विच इज अ गुड फीलिंग की येस फाइनली मैंने एक्सेप्ट तो किया and ultimately when you put yourself in a position that oh i can do it oh i can do everything bring it on kitni bhi problems are bring it on and then you're like wow you you just feel that power the surge of energy 
Now it's very important to take a deep breath in the middle because you're like, okay, this is what I've done. I've resonated with this negative fact. Hmm. Take a deep breath and take a note of how you're feeling. You know, I've been accept kar liya. All right. And then baad mein mein recharge kar liya. So it's very important to take this pause, even in the ones who have been doing some hat yoga. And there's so many forms of yoga. Even yoga, there's some teachers who will do something with you strenuously and you will have a pause for every minute. Like in Shavasana, like in bed, just relax. Because that pause, that silence is very, very, very important. And that is what is important for us to understand. That you know, how are we before and how are we after the process? It's important and it's fun to see a progress as you tap through your blocks. And then you move on to a much bigger and better perspective. You know, tapping is so powerful exercise, but unfortunately, people don't EFT is so low, people don't know it's un unbelievable how people don't know EFT. So anyways, now we end this journey. Tomorrow, we'll talk about our number. I'm taking the chapters very slowly because I want the book to sink in. If we book this book, then the financial problem will never come to the financial problem. So Rahul sir, let's do our sun salutations. So Ritu, you are saying, I meant before tapping, it's negative and after tapping, rating goes down and feels more positive. Great. If you feel so much in one session, that's wonderful. But please uh, practice at home. Practice makes a man perfect. We all must practice. That is something which we'll all learn. All right. So let's do our Surya Namaskar. Let's take the blessings of the sun in this beautiful time. And then we'll rejuvenate ourselves through creative thinking. The Surya Namaskar with Mantras Om Mitraye Namaha Om Ravaye Namaha Om Suryaye Namaha Om Bhanave Namaha Om Khagaye Namaha Om Kushne Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha Om Marichai Namaha Om Adityai Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Harkai Namaha Om Bhaskarai Namaha Salutations to the Universal Friend Salutations to the resplendent sun. Salutations to the energy that induces activity within us. Salutations to the one who illumines. Salutations to the sun moving across the sky. Salutations to the giver of strength. Salutations to the golden cosmic self. Salutations to the lord of the dawn. Salutations to the son of Aditi. Cosmic Mother, salutations to the Benevolent Mother, salutations to the energy that we praise and to the one who guides us to salvation. The sun salutation now with the names of the postures both in Sanskrit and English. Pranamasan, Hastuthanasan, Madhahastasan, Left leg back, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Parvatasan. And hold this position. And now slowly progressing into the deeper version of Parvatasan, Adho Mukshvanasan. Ashtang Namaskar. Bhujangasan. Parvatasan. Left forward, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Padahastasan. Hastuthanasan. Pranamasan. On the right side, prayer position. Raised arms pose. Hand to feet pose. Right leg back, equestrian pose. Mountain pose. Hold mountain pose. And slowly moving into the deeper version of mountain, the downward facing dog. Salute with eight limbs. Cobra. 
Yes, back to mountain. Right forward, equestrian pose. Hand to feet pose. Raised arms position. Prayer pose. One round of the sun salutation with awareness on the breathing. So exhaling our hands to the chest, pranam. Inhaling as we bend back. We exhale as we fall forward. Left leg back, inhale as we're arching back. Exhale into the forward. Hold the breath for knees, chest, chin. Inhale as we arch back. Exhale into the forward. Left leg forward, inhale. This is a back bend. Exhale whenever we bend forward. Inhale as we bend back. Exhale. Hands to the chest. And on the right, deep breathing. Exhale. A deep inhale. A long exhale. Right leg back with an inhale. And exhale. Hold the breath. Inhale and exhale. Right leg forward with a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So let's feel that we've been blessed because we've done the sun salutation. Surya Pranam, Surya Namaskar Karke, we have all invoked our blessings. And now it's time for us to move on into a beautiful book, The Art of Creative Thinking, telling us that each one of us is born creative. It's just upon us to think and be more creative. And for this, what do we do? We learn what is commitment. Suna bahut hai, kara bhi hai, feel karte hai ki hai bhi. Lekin, commitment se bhi commitment karni hai. Be committed to commitment. I had never been so petrified. I didn't understand what was happening. I was a child of seven and I clung to my aunt's jacket for fear of being swept away in a stampeding mob of screaming, wailing girls. The noise was deafening. It's impossible to describe the sheer magnitude of the hysteria. Girls fainted, collapsed, ambulances, men rushed past them holding their flappy and contorted bodies. It was like a medieval battlefield. I was crushed on all sides by a throng of thousands. Their eyes were wet with tears and their faces twisted with distress. Then the Beatles stepped out of the plane and things went really crazy. It was 1964 and my aunt who worked at Heathrow had taken to see the Fab Four return to England after a triumphant trip to the US. When the Beatles played on the legendary Ed Sullivan show on TV, it was a milestone in American pop culture. A recording breaking audience of 73 million viewers was mesmerizing. To the US, the Beatles was an overnight success. But in fact, Lennon and Mark McCartney had been playing together since 1957. In the clubs of Hamburg, they performed endured live nonstop shows for eight hours a day, seven days a week, until two o'clock in the morning, and I had to work incredibly hard to attract audiences from the many clubs in Hamburg competitive competition for attention. Their abilities and confidence increased. By 1964, they had played roughly 1,200 times, totaling thousands of hours playing time, more than most rock bands play in their entire career. Those hours of performance set the Beatles apart. They were addicted to practice, yet their rehearsing was not repetitive, but adventurous. They didn't play the classic rock song the time over and over again until they sounded exactly like the originals as other bands did. They experimented and improvised, constantly embellishing the standards until they made them their own. They understood that there was nothing to be gained from mechanical repetition. The Beatle gave them constant feedback to improve and make their sound more and more like the Beatles and less and less like everyone else. Did you hear what happened? This group of boys who have been playing and singing and entertaining a small club audience, thousands of hours, and yet Kabibi same nahi practicing innovation, giving themselves something, made them legendary. 
Now there's a science in Think Grow Rich book, which you have seen in with the second session, if somebody had done that if 10,000 hours of what you really love to do, if you put it in it, then you will become a master at it. Yeah, thousands of hours. Ki baat ho rahi hai. So understand that this is where our journey is. Commitment to commitment. Commitment leli to me kisi or kini sununga. I will do it come what me. Now, in the early days, the Beatles were not really great musicians. They were better, more technically proficient guitarists, singers, drummers. John Lennon was once again asked at a press conference if he thought Ringo was the best drummer in the world. He jokingly replied, Ringo isn't the best drummer in the Beatles. Yet in the Ed Sullivan show, the four lads from the back streets of Liverpool displayed no trace of nerves. The con conference was a result of the years of playing together and painstaking development. Agar aapne koi kaam bohat baar kara hai, to aapko pata hai ki mujhe isme mastery hai. I can never go wrong. Kyunki aapne practice kiya hua hai. Sirf suna nahi hai. Ek hum sunte hai aur isko preach karte hai, practice karte hai, dono mein bohat farak hai. Sun ke hai mi lagte hai, haa, mein kar sakta hai. Jab tak hum karte nahi, tab tak hum, you know, we can't go ahead. And karne ke baad practice, practice, practice. 99% of the difference between successful, innovative people and those who fail is commitment to self-improvement. That's why I always say that we are becoming a better version of ourselves. No competition. I don't want to be like Pratima Ji. She doesn't want to be like me. Become a better version. When we do a comparison, we are not understanding what we are doing. We can be inspired by someone. That's great. We can be inspired by someone who wants to be better. So if I say I want to be like Pratima Ji, it's fine that I have her. I, I have somebody or you know, if I say I want to be like Ruchi and Ritu, it's fine that I have thinking. Lekin mujhe apne andar qualities lani hai, apne aapko better karna hai. If someone is more successful than you, the chances are they work harder at self-development. Ya, kai log naturally best hote hai. It's all right. Practice is important, but it has to be a good practice. Bad practice is thoughtlessly repeating something to perfect it. Good practice is putting time into imaginative improvement. Good practice karne ke liye, again, you have to listen. You have to become silent. Jab tak ap silent nahi honge, jab tak ap apne andar ki baat nahi karenge, aap ki imagination improve nahi hogi. Aap ke andar trillion dollar ideas hai, lekin wo bahar aate hi nahi, sklata chalta rata, cha 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 all the time. Silent mein jaoge, apne aap imagination ideas bahar niklenge. And those ideas, if you write it on paper, there's a possibility that you revisit it and you will never do it. If you don't write it on paper, then you will go. They've gone with the air. They've gone with the wind. When Matisse produced a series of paintings of the same female model, he didn't actually achieve more and more accuracy. He achieved more and more inventiveness. Have you seen, um, you know, just a painting of horses or all kinds of horses? Who's done that? Which Indian artist has done that? Only horses. And they're abstract horses. But what does he do? He's creating more and more. He's being innovative. Kuch na kuch different color palettes, kuch na kuch other mediums. Hai. And today he's one of the acclaimed artists in the, in the world, not only in India. Who am I talking about? People are achieving so much more with their paintings, with their ideas, with their thoughts, with their programs with their innovativeness. Why are we not doing that? Why do we think, he, oh, we are not that. We can't do this. Why not? Ek -ek painting, ek -ek mein bitte, it needs me painting. Because people have made themselves into perfection. They've created that name, that fame. The Beatles got the most out of the talent by investing the imaginative practice needed to develop their qualities. Bar, bar, invest kia, bar, bar, invest kia. And jo diya, unko bahar mila. No masterpieces have ever been produced. Yes, Hussain. Thank you, Parul. I was waiting for this answer. No master masterpieces have been produced by talented but lazy artists. So, when artists ki baat ho rahi hai, our Hussain is so wonderful. Began nowhere. There's so many Thai men, so many people. And sare ke sare artists, they are creating masterpieces not because they're lazy. If they're lazy, hongi, to creativity nahi aayegi. Boring bhi hai, kuch nahi bhi karna hai, kuch to karo. People who become rich never want to sit down quietly. People who become rich enough to never need to work again are the people who never stop working. 
have you seen elon musk or have you seen so many bill gates they can sit on their wealth for generations to come but again and again they come to office why to usko better karte ja rahe products ko apne services ko apne whatever they have to give ye thodi na ki ha 10 saal paisa kama liye uske baad aa rahe hai ab to enjoy karne wala kya karoge enjoy karke main sirf holiday karke maza aayega kya kuch to kaam karne ko chahiye ya think about it pablo di saras said a very beautiful thing a genius for 37 years i practiced 14 hours a day and now they call me a genius jitna gur daloge utna meetha hoga so please understand that all of us are here and all of us are here for reason now be positive about negatives ye maine kal bhi kaha tha aur ye har author bolta hai life mein negatives aayenge anivarya hai important hai imperative hai aayenge hi aayenge jab tak negative nahi aayega positive ki value bhi nahi malum padegi lekin अगर कुछ नेगेटिव हो रहा है उसमें भी पॉजिटिव खोजना है दैट शुड बी द सीकर इन अस द फाइंडर इन अस द ग्रैटिट्यूड आर्टिस्ट इन अस रॉयल एचिस्टन एस्टैब्लिश रेपुटेशन इन एन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट एक्सप्रेशनिस्ट पेंटर इन द 1950s व्हेन इट वाज अ डोमिनेंट स्टाइल ही प्रोड्यूस्ड लार्ज स्प्लैशी पेंटिंग्स फुल ऑफ ड्रिबल्स एंड स्प्लैटर्स स्टैंडिंग फॉर द टाइम हिज पेंटिंग वाज रिस्पेक्टेड एंड हिज एग्जिबिशंस डिड मॉडरेटली वेल रिव्यूज वर रीजनेबल ही स्वैम विद द स्ट्रीम suddenly in 1961 he changed the direction overnight he discarded the abstraction and began making large paintings copied from comic book illustrations his new work was hard edged brash flat expressionless traced from enlarged images it was a result of a challenge from the young son who pointed to him that mickey mouse comic character said i bet you can't paint as good as that huh dad so lichtenstein in large and copied one of the illustrations exactly onto canvas ab uska inspiration kya tha uska beta karta kya aaya tha kuch aur jahan wo bahut famous tha usne kuch naya try kiya ab kya hua world to accept nahi karti na kuch bhi naya hota hai to resistance aayega hi aayega kal ka apne interview ek dekha ho paytm ka one of the staff ki baat ho rahi thi ki jab uske father ne bola ki tum job kahan kar rahe ho paytm kya hai kisi ko jante bhi nahi ho unko paytm bolna bhi nahi aata paytm kya hai par wahan to kaam karo jo log jante hain usse kaha nahi papa meri garden strength mein yahan par bahut mehnat karunga today he is one of the millionaires so log to kahenge log ka to kaam hai kehna lichtenstein's friends hated it ki usne kya kar liya it was a first encounter with pop art they had never seen something like this it was a opposite of emotionally intense abstract expressionist paintings they were used to a paintings me dekh rahe ho we were finding some meaning some purpose ekdam se pop aata tha are what is this kya hai the large they found it worthless with trashy and they like oh shit it's so bad it's a worst of american commercialism this thought is really bad strong reactions mila usko it was strongest reaction of piece of richardson's work that ever received here he realized it was better to have a powerful response even if negative than the respectful yet muted response he was used to he produced more comic book paintings exhibited them and the critics savaged them again lichtenstein's reason that although negative at least he was achieving a strong reaction eventually his iconic pop art comic style book stuck a uh, comic book style struck a chord with the younger members of the art world and cemented his place in the history of art get this very 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 clearly agar aapko apne venture pe bharosa hai that is all it matters and some people say it's always good to be in the news bad press is also good press at least news mein to ho isn't in the way of philosophy tha ki mujhe bad reviews mil rahe hain but at least i am all over the news finally us old school of thought ke logo ne accept nahi kiya it nice school of thought ke logo ne accept kar liya and aaj pop art is one of the most important arts in the world अब सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट पैराग्राफ आ रहा है पढ़ने का समझने का इफ अदर्स रिस्पॉन्स स्ट्रॉन्गली टू समथिंग यू हैव डन दैट्स पॉजिटिव इवन इफ द रिएक्शन इज नेगेटिव कुछ तो कहा व्हाट शुड कंसर्न यू मोर देन एनीथिंग इज नो रिएक्शन व्हाट्स आप कुछ कर रहे हो और आपको रिएक्शन ही नहीं मिल रहा से बेटर है वर्स रिएक्शन अरे क्या घटिया घर बना है रिएक्शन तो मिला नहीं तो एक एवरेज घर बना लिया आपने अरे ज्वेलरी बनाई अरे क्या शिट ज्वेलरी बनाई कौन पहनेगा वो ऐसे समथिंग अरे दिस इज ओके रिएक्शन इज इम्पोर्टेंट गंदा भी है तो इट्स गुड 
the history of culture is one of negativity towards new work and new ideas to a point where public annoyance can be seen as an endorsement. शुरू में जब जूम आया था सब बोलते थे क्या इस अब, अब क्लास इसमें करनी पड़ेगी वो गॉड इज इतना यू नो ऐसा है वैसा है अब देखो इसकी आदत पड़ गई अब जाने का मन नहीं करता ऑफिस में फैक्ट्रीज में क्लासेस में लगता है अब यहीं से कर लो शुरू में रेजिस्टेंस आएगा कुछ नया करेंगे आप तो बट अंडरस्टैंड टू बी सक्सेसफुल पर्सन यू ऑफन हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन विद द ब्रिक्स अदर्स थ्रो एट यू वो जो ब्रिक्स थ्रो करें ना आपकी तरफ उनको लोग की इसमें मैं क्या इनोवेट कर सकता हूँ क्या समझाऊँ मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ उनको डेटरेंट में बनाओ के लोगों ने मुझे क्रिटिसाइज कर दिया यू नो ही इज नॉट गुड इनफ शी इज नॉट गुड इनफ आई कैन डू इट नो गेट एक्साइटेड गेट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई आर दिस थिंग सो व्हाट कैन यू डू अबाउट इट एंड इसकी बात याद कर लो बैड प्रेस इज बेटर देन गुड नथिंग एट ऑल ऑस्कर वाइल्ड वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल ऑथर ही सेज द ओनली थिंग वर्स देन बींग टॉक अबाउट इज नॉट बींग टॉक अबाउट न्यूज में हो ना गुड न्यूज है इट्स फाइन लोग बात नहीं करते यू नो बडी यू गॉन विद विन बट द मेनी पीपल टॉक अबाउट यू ग्रेट नाउ दिस न्यू चैप्टर व्हिच इज कमिंग इज अगेन वेरी अमेजिंग नाउ बी प्रैक्टिकली यूजलेस इट्स अमेजिंग इंटरेस्टिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ये क्या बोलना चाह रहे हैं लेट्स गो फॉर इट द जूसी सैलिफ इज अ लेमन स्क्वीजर दैट डजंट वर्क एनीमोर येट इट्स आल्सो डिजाइन आइकॉन एंड अ ह्यूज कमर्शियल सक्सेस व्हाई The design consists of a teardrop body supported by three legs, cast from aluminium, a metal that we associate with modernity in aircraft. What makes it so distinctive and therefore so popular is that imbued the, with the personality of its creator, Philip Stark. It brings together all his obsession. It's been exhibited in New York's Museum of Modern Art. So it's not just art; it's not just design, but it's art. Stark designed a juicy salaf in a restaurant while eating squid. He squeezed lemon over the squid and wondered if the shape of the squid could be used as a base for a lemon squeezer. I started stretching out on a napkin. Now on permanent display in Milan's Alessi Museum. Juicy salad. If you guys know, so it's an inspired art, very famous, very iconic. If you go to Milan's Alessi Museum, it's called a center stage. But he where did it start? From practical experience. अभी नींबू निचोड़ते निचोड़ते आपके खाने पे आपको क्या आइडिया आ रहा है सो आइडियाज आएंगे अगर वो लिख लोगे ना आप अपने व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप पे अपनी किताब में तो आप उसको फ्रूशन दे सकते हो उसको कलर दे सकते हो उसको फॉर्म दे सकते हो बट आइडियाज विल बिकम ओनली आइडियाज इन इम्प्लीमेंटेड क्रिएटिव थिंकर्स केयर अबाउट द वर्क बिकॉज इट्स फुल ऑफ थिंग्स दे केयर अबाउट क्यों मुझे शौक है मुझे पसंद आए मेरे दिमाग से निकला रहा आई लाइक इट आई एम गुड ग्रोड आपके बोलने से फर्क नहीं पड़ता दैट्स हाउ यू शुड बिकम एज अ चाइल्ड स्टाक के बारे में बात हो रही है सो फैसिनेट बाय स्काईफाई साईफाई मूवीज साइंस फिक्शन कॉमिक्स एंड स्पेंड आवर्स ई ड्रॉइंग स्पेस शिफ्ट इज फादर वॉज एन एयरक्राफ्ट इंजीनियर डिजाइनर एंड स्टाक वॉज इंथ्रॉल्ड बाय द स्लीक लाइन ऑफ द एलुमिनियम क्राफ्ट एन अदर ऑफ ऑब्सेशन वॉज द डाइवर्स शेप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स ही पोर्ड ऑल द डिस्पैरिट इन्फ्लुएंस इन टू डिजाइन ऑफ द लेमन स्क्वीजर रिजल्ट वॉज सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज इट वॉज पर्सनल He didn't ask chefs and cooks to test prototypes of the juicy salaf and adapt to their needs. He made it the way he wanted. One of the key ingredients of success of the juicy salaf was that it didn't work. Its height made it unstable. Lemon juice dribbled down the legs and its feet scratched kitchen work surfaces. You might expect this to be detract from the reputation, but no, it enhanced it. The public identified with the view that expression was more important than function. and the idea is that what counts the fact that it was dysfunctional became his unique selling point kabhi kabhi fluke ya kabhi kabhi aapki thoughts kabhi kabhi aapki himmat kaam kar jati hai so don't stop believing in yourself the genuinely innovative are led by the passions and not by rational ambitions again vedanta mein ek kahavat hai lakshya sadho lakshmi ji milengi ऐसे ही आपने लक्ष्मी जी को आवाहन कर लिया लक्ष्मी जी आ जाओ आई वॉन्ट बिकम रिच कैसे रिच लक्ष्य तो होना चाहिए पैशन तो होना चाहिए जुनून तो होना चाहिए एंड अगर आप अपने पैशन को लक्ष्य में डाल दो सो रॉकेट लग जाएंगे वाई बिकॉज आपको मजा आ रहा है वो काम करने में एक एक काम आपने इनहेरिट किया फैमिली से आपको बिल्कुल इंटरेस्ट नहीं है फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई फादर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही इज ए बिल्डर और मुझे बिल्डिंग से कोई कोई सरोकार ही नहीं है ना आई डोंग्स और मुझे करना पड़ेगा बिल आई एंजॉय वर्स इज समथिंग दैट आई स्टार्ट ऑन माई ओन 
स्मॉल लिटिल आइडिया एंड वेर डिज इट ग्रो देखो कितने आजकल क्या क्या कंपनीज आ रही हैं सच सच ब्यूटीफुल इन्वेस्टमेंट्स जस्ट लुक एट द वे द कंट्री इज बूमिंग विद कहाँ आइडियाज एंड आइडियाज कहाँ से उबर आ गया कहाँ से इनोवेट किया गया पीपल वॉन्ट टू गो पीपल हैव कास्ट पुट दम ऑल टुगेदर ब्रिंग दम टुगेदर स्विगी जोमैटो जस्ट सी वेर दे कम फ्रॉम आइडियाज जूम वेर दे कम फ्रॉम आर न्यू आइडियाज स्प्रिंग फ्रॉम पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट इवन इट दिस सीम इ रेलिवेंट टू द टास्क एट हैंड अगर आपको एक आइडिया लग रहा है कि यार मुझे ये काम चाहिए तो आपके ऐसे हजारों लाखों लोग हैं वहां पर जिनको चाहिए पुट इट टू पेपर पुट इट ट्राई इट इनोवेटिव पीपल हैव टू पुट प्रैक्टिकल कंसिडरेशन टू वन साइड बिकॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट लॉजिस्टिक्स लीड्स टू थिंकिंग लॉजिकली विच ट्राई राउंड द लीप्स ऑफ द माइंड रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट समथिंग ह्यूज समथिंग यूनिक सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड प्रैक्टिकलिटी में मत जाना लॉजिक में मत जाना मैजिकल वर्ल्ड में जाना अगर आपको कुछ क्रिएट करना है सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली डू इट द अकाउंट पॉइंट द ऑर्थोडॉक्सी ऑफ फॉर्म फॉलोअर्स फंक्शन वॉज अ वेल टेम्पर्ड चेयर डिजाइन आई कॉन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई रॉन एरड इट मेक्स अट अ बैड टेम्पर्ड बिकॉज इट्स मेड फ्रॉम सीट्स ऑफ शीट्स ऑफ स्टील एंड इज सो अनकम्फर्टेबल टू सिट ऑन इमेजिन एक चेयर बनाई जा रही है विद इंटेंशन कि यार उससे तो आपको परेशानी होगी ही होगी आपका मूड खराब होगा ही होगा ना आप उस पर बैठ रहे हो The infamous fashion designer Alexander McQueen designed shoes that were impossible to walk in and clothes that couldn't be worn. Now I, अब लोग पूछोगे या कोई कोई अरे क्या बकवास है ऐसी चेक क्यों बनाएं जहाँ बैठ नहीं सकते ऐसे कपड़े क्यों नहीं बनाने जो पहन नहीं सकते ऐसे जूते क्यों बनाने जो वॉक नहीं कर सकते right? But understand. Architects Renzo Piano and Richard Rogers designed the Pompidou Center in Paris inside out. Utilitarian features such as escalators, lifts, plumbing, pipes, air vent, electrical cables were put on the outside, freeing up space inside for exhibitions and events. Now, this futuristic design led to spiraling maintenance costs because it required constant repainting. All these creative thinkers poured their obsessions into their work and ignored the practicalities. Abhi practical banoge, so it will be generic. आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स सोचोगे तो यू विल मेक सम प्लेस सम सबस्टेंस सम स्पेस आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी प्रैक्टिकल इट्स ऑलवेज बट इट्स इट्स जस्ट नाइस टू बी ट्रू टू एन आइडिया यू हैव टू वैल्यू एक्सप्रेशन ओवर परफेक्शन एक्सप्रेस करो परफेक्ट मत करो परफेक्शन दुनिया में मत जाओ वाइटैलिटी ओवर फिनिश मूवमेंट ओवर द स्टैटिक एंड फॉर्म ओवर फंक्शन put your personality before practicality get that very loud and clear in your mind because that is what you're all about and your individuality is everything aap unique paida hue hain you have some attribute something now if you are ironing out in practicality i don't that what is unique so very important to understand this bharat wake up wake up sit down straight with your back later ho gaye to neend aayegi ye morning ka time hai naya naya shuru hua hai so you have to wake up Okay, Harold Brown says it's the addicts that stay with it. They're not necessarily the most talented. They're just the ones that can't get it out of their systems. Addiction होना चाहिए कि मुझे क्या करना है. What do I have to do? Just be addicted. But that's it. Don't think about people. Don't think about society. Just do it. Tomorrow we'll talk about. दूसरे क्या सोचते हैं मत वो जो उसके बारे में. Just go with what you really want to do. we'll keep learning every single day something or the other time for a heart thought uh, let's see what blessing is coming for all of us today in the heart thought who would want to read please raise your hand as always so wonderful all right <clears throat> so very important to be a listener listener to your body listener to your mind listening to your subconscious mind listening to your heart listening to yourself very 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 important the body like everything else in life is a mirror of your inner thoughts and beliefs every cell responds to every single thought you think and every word you speak do we know this hamari body mein 200 trillion cells hain aisa bolte hain aur sare cells hamari thoughts ke upar kaam kar rahe hain kabhi aapne realize kiya ki aapne socha ho ki ye bahut din se mujhe asthma अरे इस साल तो बच गई अरे ये मुझे एलर्जी होती थी यहाँ पर अरे अभी तो नहीं हुई एंड नेक्स्ट डे आपको एस्तमा हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट डे वो एलर्जिक रिएक्शन हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट डे वो कुछ भी हैव यू सीन 
क्या सोचते हो और तुरंत तब्दीली हो जाती है सोचते हो अरे सोचा नहीं होता तो बेटर होता सो दिस इज द पावर ऑफ आर इनर थॉट्स एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थॉट्स कम अ डे दैट्स फॉर दिस से आपकी बॉडी उस सारे थॉट्स को प्रोसेस कर रही कब क्या तब्दीली हो जाए इन रियलिटी यू हैव नो आइडिया तो सोचना है भी ध्यान से एंड कैसे सोचने में हम रोक लगाएंगे द मो यू एंड मी कैन मेडिटेट मेडिटेट ऑन हाउ जस्ट वॉचिंग आर ब्रेथ अगर आप ऑफिस फैक्ट्री वर्कशॉप हॉस्पिटल जहाँ आर्किटेक्चर कहीं भी आप बैठे हो जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन ब्रीदिंग थोड़ा सा जस्ट टाइम एंड अगेन कम बैक टू कॉन्शियस ब्रीदिंग डीप ब्रीदिंग एंड दैट्स वन यू रियलाइज कि आपने एक पॉज ले लिया है और उसके बाद जो थॉट्स का क्वालिटी जो आएंगी विल बी मच मोर बेटर सो टुडे इज एफर्मेशन इज ब्यूटिफुल आई लिसन टू माय बॉडीज मैसेजेस यस प्लीज यस अक्षय गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ चेंज आई चूज टू बी फ्लेक्सिबल इन ऑल एरियाज आई एम विलिंग टू चेंज माय सेल्फ एंड माय बिलीव्स टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ माय लाइफ एंड माय वर्ल्ड माय बॉडी लव्स मी इन स्पाइट ऑफ हाउ आई मे ट्रीट इट my body communicates with me and i know and i now listen to its messages i'm willing to get the message i pay attention and make the necessary corrections i give my body what it needs on every level to bring it back to optimum health i call upon an inner strength that is mine whenever i need it and so it is how wonderful so very important for us to know that the world is changing and all of us can be flexible and we should be flexible we should choose to be flexible because that is what is important agar hum stuck ho jayenge jahan hum hain to hum aage progress nahi kar sakte because static ek energy aa jayegi agar aapko change karna hai and if you're ready to change that's when your new conditioning your rewiring will change and your thoughts will change and the quality of your thoughts will make your body change and the way you treat your thoughts the way you treat your body that's the way life will come back to you it will communicate to you in a very very beautiful fashion एंड जो भी आप चाहेंगे वो आपके सामने आ जाएगा साक्षात और हाउ एवर बिकॉज यू हैव एड्रेस्ड एट यू इन्वाइटेड दैट ब्यूटिफुल थॉट इन टू योर माइंड आप प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड हम सारे इंडिविजुअल्स इवॉल्व होते हैं हम अपने आप को कहाँ मान रहे हैं डिपेंड्स अपॉन आस बट अगर इफ वी वॉन्ट समथिंग वी गेट दैट वेरी ग्रेटफुली इन आर बॉडी इन आर लाइफ सो लेट्स गो विद आर हीलिंग लेट्स गो विद आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेट्स मेडिटेट आई डोंट नो मेडिटेशन आर एनी थिंग वॉन्ट यू मेडिटेट अबाउट किसी कोई पर्टिकुलर चीज को एड्रेस करवाना है मेडिटेशन में इफ यस प्लीज लेट मी नो आई मेडिटेट ऑन दैट अदरवाइज लेट्स सी व्हाट कम्स अप सो इन देयर एनी टॉपिक्स दिस इज आई एम नॉट नेमिंग टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यू ऑल कुछ है तो बता दो अदरवाइज ऑफ कोर्स जो भी आ रहा है वी विल डू इट हेल्थ ऑन व्हाट टाइम वी रीड ऑन व्हाट वी रीड इन टैपिंग इनटू वेल्थ ओके फाइन सो आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड वर्क ऑन वेट रिडक्शन हेल्थ एंड व्हाट वी रीड इन टैपिंग ओके ग्रेट consistency all right so that's going to be good i'm going to weave them now. so what to name um commitment shivan you can name it commitment all right so everyone our backs absolutely straight our feet firmly placed on the ground below or cross legged our eyes softly closed a beautiful smile on our faces and our hands in a comfortable resting position in a gyan mudra or a chin mudra facing heavenwards open hatelia or the the buddha pose whatever you comfortable and take a deep breath in observe our breathing take a pause and very gently release it by exhaling it Take another deep breath in and observe the breathing as you breathe in. See the pause and gently exhale the breath ever so gently releasing all that you have inside you knowing it's going to come back. Once again observe the pause on top and take a breath in again. Pause and exhale life is magical life is a fresh breath of air life is a new learning curve life is all about abundance life becomes magical once we all are committed 
committed to our commitment, committed to finding the hidden agendas, the obstacles in our life, which are hindering our progress. These blockages could be for our health, could be for our wealth, could be for whatever we are interested in. Health could also be something which is physically tackling a disease or as simple as physically tackling weight. Let's understand whatever blockages we have in our body, in our mind, in our thoughts is there because of our mindset, a conditioned mindset where we feel we're insecure, there's lack of love. And then we start hoarding. The more we clutter our energy, the more blockages we feel. Let's tell ourselves today very beautifully. Let's take a vow and tell ourselves that I am decluttering at every point in my life. When we start decluttering ourselves, when we start becoming a better version of ourselves, more clear, like a glass house, then everything will start to fade away into nothingness. What is weight? It's the mere area where we need security. What is weight? It is waiting for you to be uncomfortable, where you want to eat food, to become more secured, to save on, to hold on. And then you become so comfortable that it stays in your body. And then you eat more to make it grow more. And then you start saying that, oh, I hate this weight. And weight or anything in life needs expansion, needs attention. Whatever gets expansion, attention grows. Hence the weight grows. Health. What do we do about health? First, we abuse our bodies, our postures, our lifestyle. Then we get uncomfortable, uneasy. And when there is no ease in the body, it's called dis-ease. That is when we manifest unknowingly some problem. Merely thinking about a problem, we're inviting the problem in our life. So each time we think about a problem, the best way to, uh, to have a solution for this is control all delete and say the words loudly, delete, 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 thrice. That means any negative thought that has come in, you have deleted it out of your mind immediately by saying it out loud. Alternatively, we use tapping. Alternatively, we use switch words or switch emotions. We change our frequency from negative thinking to positive thinking by simply putting our hand on a heart. Let's put our hand on a heart and think of that one person who we really love. It could be our grandparents, any teacher, any guru, any parent, living or living in heavens above. Uh, thinking about them, how do you feel? Most likely, we feel love, we feel strength, we feel blessed. And when we do this switch over of emotion, immediately the mind that was thinking something negative shifts its energy into a love-filled zone. So let's gift ourselves love. Let's gift ourselves light. When there is love, we can see things more clearly. People say, you become tinted with glasses when you're too much of love, you become blinded. But tell yourself that I am love. I am light. I see things clearly and I flow in the world with my heart. And the totality of possibilities. Once we flow in the world of love, 90% of the time, we trust. When we trust and if we trust the process of life, we will emerge as winners. 
but let's tell ourselves that we will not have blind trust because we will have love filled trust whatever we give is what we get if there is a room for doubt in our mind that doubt will resurface the person will backfire let's trust the process of love let's trust life let's tell ourselves we have blocked energy when it comes to creating wealth or health we need to journal that energy by asking what is a detriment for us to achieve that goal once we get the answers and let's remember the power of 3 ask yourself three deep questions and each time you ask take a minute of deep breathing and then silence and then let's ask ourselves a question that time and wait for the answer let's understand our because our conscious mind giving us cues clues answers we should be the one absorbing them taking them in by writing them let's convert our dreams into possible action solutions plans let's convert our negativity into positivity let's think positive be positive work positively let's not take negativity as a detriment let's take it as a building block something that we need to build our skills on our virtues on whenever negativity comes see it analyze it break it and make yourself so much more powerful by thanking the negativity for coming to teach you some lesson remember the negativity will repeat and the pattern will be continuous if you haven't learned the lesson it's come for you are the only one inviting that in your life so let's be committed to ourselves to our goals to our plans whether we use tapping whether we use any alternatives or switch words or whether we use a switch thought or maybe love filled action let's be committed to working on ourselves and making ourselves a better version of who we are let's invest in ourselves with lots of love and lots of light so be it let's bow our heads in gratitude towards mother earth and thank her for all the love she empowers us instills in us let's thank at the eye level and thank our life for all the beautiful lessons experiences we've lived in this life or the past let's thank our present for the power of now for we are sowing in seeds of a beautiful tomorrow and a beautiful present let's be grateful mindful heartful let's thank our future for its magical magnificent and larger than life just as we want it to be and maybe better let's have this prayer in our mind may the and may this future be as beautiful as it should be for the highest good of mine and for others and so it is let's open our hands at a heart level and let's expand and say i am love i'm a channel of love where i i allow myself to evolve let our virtues evolve let our virtue virtues expand i am light i live in god's height and terror because the divine guidance is always with me i'm at the right place at the right time because it's a right thing to feel witness experience i am abundant wherever i go prosperity follows I am most definitely open receptive to all the love to all the guidance to all the abundance from all universes and so it is let's open our hands towards the universe above spread our hands dear universe thank you thank you thank you for having our back dear angels guardians divinities thank you for showering us blessing us guiding us to all the teachers gurus coaches in this realm or the others in this dimension or the others wherever they are thank you thank you thank you let's fold our hands in gratitude rub our hands together 
this entire body, especially our brain, our conscious mind. Keep your hands here. Thank you for rewiring, reprogramming, restructure, unlearn, uh, restructuring, unlearning, and learning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank our face, the five senses, our neck, our shoulders, arms, upper back, middle back, spinal cord, lower back, hips, excretory organs, backs of your thighs going out to your feet, ankle, touch them, sole, top of your feet, your calves, knees, thighs, sexual organs, your large and small intestines, your gallbladder, uterus, kidneys, stomach, going up to your chest, your lungs. Finally, keep your hand in your heart. With both your hands, just feel your heartbeat. Can you feel it? And now with this beautiful heartfelt feeling, let's thank our wonderful body for working on its optimal best. To all the organs for being there, working so well. To all the muscles, tissues, fibers, skin and bones for working in the optimal best. To the blood for circulating so beautifully in the hundreds and thousands of kilometers of blood circulation system. The 200 trillion cells in our body. Thank you for listening to us. May we think better, be better, versions of ourselves and so it is and now let's evoke the energy in us the chi and the ki in us flowing in us let's bless our sangha mitras our loved ones and all sentient beings on mother earth for having a shift in their thoughts and for becoming a transformed person for a much better version of ourselves love light and abundance gyanji usha ji jitendra ji ruchi ritu pratima ji bharat Akshay, Vijayji, Shivani, Manish, Manisha, Pinaji, Minakshi, Alona, Neha, Kamakshi, Shami, Ankur, Ruchi, Parul, Amit Gupta, Niriksha, Nikita, Surinderji, Ankur Rawat, Neha Jain. Lots and Shelly Mathu. And to all of them who are attending virtually. Lots of love and lots of light. Any reflections? <clears throat> great so none let's see each other tomorrow at five and i have been giving you a lot of assignments just keep doing them diligently without fail because they are going to add value to your life yes manish um uh, yesterday the figure was 50 crores and even 50 crores does not seem outrageous to me uh and how about 250 crores no, I did not go beyond that. Okay, outrageous name was to karna padega, na? Now the size was outrageous karna. Oh my God, shit. Now the reason and the problem with me is the execution part. So, the problem with me is the execution part. Tathas tu. Problem hai na? Universe sun rahe bhai. What are you doing, Manish dear? There is no problem. Let's look at solutions. Yeah? Let's stop telling ourselves. Hum apne aapko ya kisi ko batane ke liye bhi twist karke bolein ki hum apne liye problem nahi bata rahe. Jaisi mene kai bar bola ki agar hume thyroid hai, diabetes hai to hum ye nahi bolte ki mujhe thyroid hai, diabetes hai. Hum bolte hai, we're going through thy thyroid and diabetes. Right? We don't own the bimari and tab diabetes chula jayega, thyroid chula jayega. So, what do you say? Tell me, how will you say in this new language? Uh, the challenge is mm. execution. Very good. So, how do we execute? You tell me. We affirm positively the divine. A superpower is uh, helping me or I'm able to, I'm executing it very successfully. Great. It's our affirmation. Now, we have to make a goal. My goal is, say, 250 crores. 
अब उसके लिए मैं क्या एक्शन ले सकता हूँ और एक्शन को प्लान में कन्वर्ट करना है कि अब मैं क्या प्लानिंग करूंगा अब इस एक्शन को लेने के लिए एंड देन फाइनली अ टाइम लाइन एंड देन अकाउंटेबिलिटी अगर अकाउंटेबिलिटी आंसरबिलिटी नहीं है तो मैं आगे नहीं बढ़ सकता फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपका गोल है यू हैव टू हैव समी दैट यू कैन ट्रस्ट इन इन्वेस्ट इन हु कैन चेक विद यू कि मनीष बस क्या हुआ तो उन्हें बोला था यू हैव टू हैव दैट पर्सन या यू हैव एन अ चाइल्ड बाय नाउ अलार्म सेट कर लो मोबाइल पे कि मुझे इस डे पे गूगल कैलेंडर पे कि मुझे अनालिसिस करना है वो रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाएगा अरे शिट आई एम बिहाइंड Shit, I'm behind is also good because are you accepted na ki you are behind. Yeah. Chalo, aage padte. Jo ek mahine mein nahi kya, uska double do mahine mein bhi kar sakte hai. Ek mahine mein bhi kar sakte. Depends upon our speed. Depends upon our intention. Sankalp agar hamara hai, to hum kar sakte hai. Now I'm sorry I cut you. Tell me. Now tell me what else. Problem ko hume apna na nahi hai. Agar hai bhi to usko bola nahi ki hamari hi problem hai. इस प्रॉब्लम का सलूशन क्या करें कुछ यहाँ ये ट्रैक ये हो जाता है जब कभी प्रॉब्लम आती है उसमें ओनरशिप लेने के सेकंड टेंस में बोल दो एज इफ द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट योर्स सेकंड टेंस में बात कर रहे दैट्स वाय कई लोग को आपने सुना होगा कि वो जब सलूशन मांगते हैं कोचेस के पास जाते हैं वो अपना प्रॉब्लम कई बार सेकेंड टेंस में बोलते हैं एंड कोच क्या बोलते हैं अरे वी नो इट्स योर प्रॉब्लम बट इट्स गुड वो प्रॉब्लम को अपना नहीं रहे वो बोल रहे मेरी फ्रेंड के साथ ऐसा हो रहा है क्या करना चाहिए उसको ऐसे में आप भी कर सकते हो उससे आप ओनरशिप नहीं ले रहे प्रॉब्लम की सो टू एवरी वन वेन यूर शेयरिंग विद मी योर प्रॉब्लम डोंट से आई हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज हम उस मोमेंट में जो थॉट्स दे रहे हैं बॉडी को बॉडी रजिस्टर कर रही है थॉट्स को सो जस्ट स्टार्ट सेंग इन सेकेंड टोन मनीष लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अन अदर पर्सन हुविंग द प्रॉब्लम टेल मी अबाउट हेम that is what i told you the execution part the mm. planning is good mm. uh, i think uh, procrastination is uh, taking that toll hmm so humne wo uh, steve uh, scott ki book mein padha tha procrastination ka chapter wo so, hum revisit kar sakte hain sabse badi problem hi hoti hai insano ki humans ki bahut sochte hain bahut ek mujhe to jano karo to sahi karo to sahi kya hoga worst to worst kya hoga गिर जाओगे फेल हो जाओगे करो तो सही बिल्ड योर मसल डूइंग समथिंग हम उस मसल को बिल्ड नहीं करते क्या होगा एट द मोस्ट मनीष का वन फ्लोर का जो प्लान है मार्च में ट्वेंट में नहीं आएगा ये तो होगा ना अभी भी नहीं था तो अभी भी नहीं आएगा हाउ डज मैटर अगले साल आ जाएगा करो तो सही रिस्क तो लेना पड़ेगा बॉस जो तो रिस्क लेते हैं वो आगे जाते हैं सेफ सेफ प्ले करके तो हम इतना आगे डबल ट्रिपल नहीं पांच गुना नहीं बढ़ सकते और किस पे रिस्क लेना है जिसमें हमारे गट फीलिंग आ रही है इंट्यूशन आ रही है गाइडेंस आ रही है आज मुझे मनीषा बोल रही है कि प्रपाची तुम ये काम कर लो अपने बिजनेस में मुझे क्या फर्क पड़ता है मैं नाक्षी बोल रही हूँ डजेंट मैटर मीरा मैन क्या बोल रहा है मेरे फादर बोल रहे डजेंट मैटर आई शुड डू वॉट आई बिलीव इन That's what we're learning in this book also. Creative thinkers, अपनी creativity पहले साइलेंट हो जाते हैं फिर लिसन करते हैं फिर उस पर इम्प्लीमेंट करते हैं कि बस करना है इट्स ओके एंड नेगेटिव लोग तो बोलेंगे ही बोलेंगे गेट दैट वेरी क्लियर लोग तो बोलेंगे अच्छा करोगे तो भी बोलेंगे बुरा करोगे तो भी बोलेंगे इनफैक्ट अच्छा करोगे तो कम बोलेंगे बुरा करोगे तो बहुत बोलेंगे इट्स ऑल राइट वो तो काम है उनका जस्ट वे योर एपॉर्ड्स नॉइस कैंसलेशन Enke, close yourself. Forget it. लोग तो बोलेंगे करके देखो अपना मजा आएगा चस्का आएगा अरे वाओ इट्स गुड बी फन शेल वी डू इट लेट्स क्रैक इट थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच जस्ट नो वन थिंग दर्ज ऑलवेज अ सोल्यूशन फॉर एनी प्रॉब्लम वी आर दंस हू क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम एंड वी आर दंस हू क्रिएट सोल्यूशन in this creative world of ours we need to crack the solution that's about it so thank you rahul sir thank you amrita ma'am for everything that you are doing yes akshay please 
I just wanted to ask you how to rephrase it in second tense. Is it what you said that, you know, if someone is facing a problem rather than saying that I'm facing that challenge, you say that your friend is facing the challenge. Hmm. Or uh, you can always say Mr. A is facing this challenge. For example, if I talk, uh, uh, Miss P is having this problem and now what she should do. So I have told my body cells that I have a problem. If I have a new body, then I have a problem. I have taken ownership. They are so smart and so simple hearted. The cells are so simple. You say what they say. So we say in the second tense, Mr. A is having this problem. Now what should he do? So the body is not listening to those thoughts. And you are analyzing, reflecting, and asking them. And even if you go to coaches and counselors in the future, say, this is what I use, stents. And this is EO trainer of ours, Mala Patodia. She says, Mala is doing this. Mala is doing that. She never says, I am doing it. Second mm-hmm. tense, baat karti hai. So just try to do it. And even if you have to do it in your own thought, rather than problem, just say, ha, isko ye problem, what do you want to do जब हम अपने आप को डिटैच करते हैं ना उस इंसान से सॉल्यूशंस भी जल्दी आते हैं अपने आप की सॉल्यूशन आपको ही मिल जाएगा अगर आप आपको अपने आप से अलग कर रहे हो थिंक दैट यू आर कोचिंग अक्षय अग्रवाल ऑल ऑफ अस आर बोर्न कोचेस ऑल ऑफ अस आर बोर्न क्रिएटर्स सॉल्यूशन हम ही निकालते ना सो इज इट दैट व्हेन आई एम रिफ्लेक्टिंग ओवर समथिंग ऑन समथिंग शुड आई uh, think that you know Akshay is facing this problem. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And mirror to hai na hamare paas. Right. Oh, you are having this problem. Buddy, do this. Hey, practice. Hey, let's do it together. I have your back. Hum bohat powerful hai. Hum realize nahi karte. Let's do it. It's not tough, Akshay. And everyone. We are here to transform our lives. And we are here ki one-to-one days ke baad hume zaroot nahi pade kisi bhi coach ke paas jane ki. Coach ban jane. And that's why mein sabko invite karti hu Unified ke liye. Agar aapne abhi bhi shuru nahi kari, his book Unified is life-changing. Money to investment zero hai. Time investment hai roz ka das pada minute. So har Sunday ko 7 o'clock do it. Otherwise, of course, Rahul sa ne YouTube channel ek aur bana diya temporary. Hoping that ki humara main man baapas aja. But hum ne ek bar journey to le second repeat kiya tha so let's just do it let's crack it hmm? thank you everyone god bless you let's see each other tomorrow at five lots of love and light thank you thank you thank you